Hey guys, it's the Mobile 5. Welcome back to more Shovel Knight. Last time we defeated Spectre Knight in the Lich Yard and opened up the next area of the world. All that you missed from the last episode was really that it's just the animation of which the clouds rolled back and revealed the next part of the world. So this time we're going to be starting off the next world. But first, obviously, we're going to hand in that meal ticket we got from defeating the first area in order to increase our health. And I think we can deal with this lady right now. She's the Magist. Yes. Every time you clear an area, you can upgrade your magic, so my magic is up to 40. And one of the important things that I was saving in town later is that you head down here and head to the right. And you talk to this guy wearing the apple thing on his head. Hello, fish friend! All hail the Trouble King! Ooh, You've never heard of the Trouble King? Half trout and half apple! Yes, that is seriously a thing! It sounds like something someone in drugs would make up. So anyway, you can buy these things, these, cha these uh, chalice made of um, a mythical me metal called Ikor. And when you have Ikor, if you leave the town, and I'll just cut to the world map for this. So, oh great, a treasure stage show, but we're gonna have to show that later. When you have Ikor, and go to, the, go to this area, the travel pond, which you haven't been to before. Who has awakened me, mortal? Dost thou need aid? AID ME! I sense a trouble chalice. I can fill it with magical Icor. That's pronounced Icor. Use your Icor wisely. So you have Renewal, which heals your health and magic. Boldness, which heal which makes you invincible 10 seconds. And Fortune, which absorbs nearby treasure for 60 seconds. I'm gonna go with Renewal. That's the one I pretty much use the most. It's kind of just like, basically, again, another Mega Man comparison in E-Tank. Yeah, this dance sequence goes on for quite a while. Is there a way to skip it? <laughs> just the reason why I was holding off on showing this was because this dance sequence takes a while to go through. So that we now have the um, Icor of Renewal. I'm gonna switch over to the Phase Locker because it might be helpful the next stage. Okay, so there is one other thing of interest in the village to show, however, I don't want to waste any more time because that dancing is really wrong. So we head off to the next area of the world and we have the next member of the Ordinal Quarter. Explodatorium, Lair of Plague Knights. Let's get shoveling! Holy shit, we're already three minutes in the video without even um, editing out anything and we're just now getting to the stage. So one of the hazards in Plague Knights stage are these flamethrower things that shoot out fire pretty much shortly after you stand on them. And we have these new types of blocks which just destroy instantly with a um, downward um, stab. Shit. Okay. Kill you. And head on. We have a new enemy here. We have these rats which actually explode when you kill them. Pretty much everything in this level explodes. It's like it was made by Michael Bay. Okay, so we have some more treasure here. Now also, I should also mention the uh, location of Chester in this level. It's probably, in my opinion, the easiest Chester location to miss because it's really um, off the beaten path and it's hidden as well. Okay, so we have another enemy. It's these flying birds that drop these potions. Oh shit. Shit, that's gonna limit my chances of it getting on that platform. Okay. No, you- Okay, using the phase locker to avoid the frickin' bird and then head on! Fuck you! I hate these birds, honestly. Okay. And as a carrot, those recover your health not as much as the uh, chicken does, but okay, kill the rats. All rats must. Oh, frickin' hell! Oh no, that rat's gonna become an issue to deal with. Okay, there we go. Okay, this stage is kind of long in a way, which also kind of makes you worried about timing because I don't want this to take too long. And from my experience of Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. My capture card does not like me recording games over 15 minutes for some fucking reason. Okay. Set this area and... Okay, shit. Okay. Okay, I thought I was gonna fall on the spikes. If I fell on the spikes, I could've used the face locket to save myself, though. 
Okay. Come on this and head back down. Okay. So we have another rat here. Oh, freaking hell, I hate the rats. Just because that jumping arc that they do. With the freaking toads and shit. That was that was stupid of me, alright. So head down here. And we have a new enemy. I don't know what these enemies are called, but they're basically plague doctors, which is what a plague knight is supposed to be. And I guess I can tell a story about that. When I first saw Plague Knight, I was thinking, why is he wearing a bird mask? But it's well, it's actually a reference to Plague Doctors. There were types of doctors in like um, sort of the times of the Black Plague who I think it said they were claimed to be doctors, but they weren't actually doctors, and they wore bird masks. So that's what Plague Knight is supposed to be based on. I was always confused why he was wearing a bird mask. Okay. So we have an, these uh, new hazards with these cauldrons. The spikes on the cauldrons don't kill you, they just hurt you. I guess because they're not long enough, but now we have actual death spikes in here. And we have these enemies as well. They uh, start flying towards you when you get close to them. Um, and they're kind of annoying to deal with, because especially put them in there, some really annoying segments. Okay. Okay. There. Head out there. Okay, so... I want to bounce off these guys, I head up here. Go over this wall. And head into this area. This is actually the Chester location here. See, you have to go behind a freaking hidden wall, and you have to go up in that spot. It's see, this is why I personally think it's the hardest, the easiest one to miss. So avoid the knight enemy, and then it's Chester. So yes, in the village and out in the field, you have all the deals. So with this, you get the alchemy coin. Toss a coin for a chance at riches. With the alchemy coin, you throw it along the ground and it kills all enemies along the ground. Um, again, another Mega Man comparison. It's like the search snake for Mega Man 3. Again, I told you there were a lot of comparisons to Mega Man here. Okay, so we have these spider enemies that drop shit on you. Okay. Ooh, I want that. I want those diamonds. There we go. Okay, another checkpoint. Yes! I want to go over there. If you don't get up there, you can destroy that wall there, like I just did with the, uh, the rats. Okay, so we got the slimes from, like, the first level. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> Okay. I forgot that you can actually destroy those with, like, the, sh the downward shovel. No! Oh! And I actually killed the freaking bird. I didn't know you could actually kill the birds. Okay. I am... I don't remember how you get that. I think you have to go up into the ceiling to get that. But, yeah, we have another plague doctor here. And over here, I'm gonna... Yeah, face lock will be best for this, because we actually have a mini-boss for this level. We have this guy, so... I'm gonna make this tough. Best to just use the shovel dive on him, honestly. Because once he throws those potions at you, he's going to turn into this thing! Yeah, so we have a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde situation here. And you can do a lot of damage to this guy just from using the shovel dive on him. It gets faster every time you hit him, though. Okay, then he eventually turns back to his normal human form. And then... Shit. Okay, come on, he should be close to being dead now. Yeah! Kill them before he can turn into the monster again. Alright then. So, immediately past this point, I believe there is a healing item. Yep. And now we have the versions of the flamethrowers that just automatically fire. Kind of like the flame... Kind of like the, uh... The burners in, uh... Mario. Okay. Okay, so you gotta time your jumps here a bit. Luckily, again, Phase Locket is great for this. There's many instances where the Phase Locket is really good. Okay. I know we're gonna have another one of those Green Knight enemies. These guys are kind of annoying because they're pretty much... They're much more intelligent! There, take that. Okay. Oh, I don't like this section. Because the enemy... Okay. Oh. Okay. I know there's a hidden area over there. Um, there. That's what I want. There. You can pretty much avoid all damage once again with the face lock, and you get tons of treasure. However, the issue is you have to deal with that freaking flying enemy again once you go back into the main room. Uh, okay. I hate this room as well. Shit! Oh, thank God. Again, like in Mega Man, if you get hit while on the ladder, um, you'll get knocked down. And I've had times where I've died as a result of that. Okay. Okay. Whew. Oh, come on! That wasn't fair! 
Okay, here new enemy. We have these slime clones of uh, Shovel Knight. They actually have some of Shovel Knight's moves as well. I believe they just have the normal shovel attack. But yeah, whew. Okay. Okay, that one from the top likes to jump down there. But once you get up the ladder, he's not an issue. There. And they apparently go down in one hit, okay. So, up here... We'll get some more jewels from that. And, okay, yeah- Oh, damn it! I missed some gold there. And yeah, they can also do the downward shovel dive on the blocks that they can just blocks that they can destroy. I believe you can trick it out so that they can actually kill themselves as well by having them drop into the bottomless pits. Okay. No, you. Okay. Finally made it past that point after dying twice. There, get the fuck out of my face. Okay, we're gonna plague doctor here. I'm gonna use space locket to avoid some damage here. Okay. My God. And we get some magic back. Oh, you're fucking serious? I was right before the boss and I died twice. Okay, chicken. And we get some magic here. And now, obviously, we have Plague Knights down here. Eee, leave me alone. Show yourself, Plague Knight. Your trickery will not stop me. Trickery? Hey, the fruits of my research are no mere trick. Boom! <laughs> Now let's have a lesson, shall we? I promise he it will be enlightening. Yep, now we have Plague Knight. Plague Knight is actually kind of tricky because he's very sp sporadic with his attacks. He throws bombs all over the place, basically just a harder version of those Plague Doctor enemies that we saw throughout the stage. Um, again, Phase Locket is amazing for this. He can sometimes create these um, chemical um, basins, I guess. I don't know, I haven't done chemistry in a long time. And they can blow up to destroy these um, blocks. Okay. Yeah, and he also has fireballs go along the ground. They're kind of like Luigi's green fireballs in like Smash Brothers. Okay. Again, phase locket amazing for this battle. Okay, yep, yeah, see? Fear the power of the phase locket shit! There! See? Fear the power of the phase locket, Plague Knight! We have now defeated Blake Knight. Obviously, dig up the campfire here, and then leave to the overworld. But what's this? We have some mysterious character in the overworld. Well, next time on Shovel Knight, we'll be checking out who this mysterious character in the overworld is, and taking on the next member of the Order of No Quarter. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and let me know you're enjoying this, and I'll see you guys next time.